So this is wig number one. Um, right off the bat, I can definitely tell like this wig is it's a lot of shedding. This alone, long enough, if you can love me. What is going on YouTube? If you guys are new to my channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and like. And if you are not new to my channel, well, welcome back. So today in this video, we're gonna get into, um, I had ordered some hair from Rose Gal and we're gonna do a review on it. So today, this video is gonna be more like a wig haul from Rose Gal. We're gonna get into the texture of the hair, how well it is, and also the process and the shipping where it took we're gonna get into that video. Okay. So, it looks like they both came with wig caps, which is not bad. Um, I don't remember which one this one was I ordered. We're gonna find out. And honestly, don't remember but right out of the packaging I can definitely tell that this hair is extremely soft it is human hair and it's really long like this has got to be about 20 one inches this hair is really long all right it's almost like it's the same wig hmm uh, couldn't even tell you. They almost look really identical. Um, okay. All right. So wig one. This one doesn't have any combs. It just has the straps. So if you're one of those people that feel like you have to have a wig that has a comb in it, this is probably not going to be for you. Um, I did pay about maybe 20, maybe 15 12 bucks for this wig um as far as the cap construction goes i'm not really enjoying this little white white scalp here like who who in their in the world has like white scalp not anybody that i know of um and this definitely does not look like it's big head friendly so i'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on and just see all right guys so this is wig number one um Right off the bat, I can definitely tell like this wig is it's a lot of shedding. Um, it's really soft, but like, I don't know, but this closure piece is really like not, not the move right now. Like I can't slay this wig unless I put like maybe a hat on. Um, if you're one of those, this can definitely be a wig that you wear with a hat. I did um, train somebody today at the gym. Um, so this hair is definitely, I would say okay to wear if you're definitely wearing a hat. But as far as like trying to wear it out, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna have to like get some concealer or something, but this is like not, not the move you guys. Um, and I'm gonna see how, how tight I can tie this uh, wig cap on because like I feel like it's going to definitely move maybe if I like kind of wear it to the side maybe I don't know but I mean you definitely get what you pay for like I said these these wigs weren't expensive they were like 17 15 dollars one was like even 12 so like you definitely get what you pay for um like I said I'm not complaining I just wanted to try them out and I hope you guys are watching this video too, just in case you're ever curious about buying like a cheap, decent, decent wig you just throw on if you want to go somewhere. But it's definitely one for the hat. All right. So I mentioned like the smell. You might want to wash it. It definitely smells like it's fresh out of the packaging. And it has kind of like that Barbie doll smell too. Um... So, and it's very shiny. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to um, try to work, see if I can slay this some other way, cause uh, this is not the move right now. All right, I'll move on to the second one. All right, this is wig number two. 
again, it comes with no cones and the cap construction. And uh, this hair is soft and it doesn't seem as tangly as that very first one I just showed you guys. Uh, it definitely kind of looks the same, but uh, this one looks like it's still small head friendly. It's not big head friendly at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. This is what it looked like now, but now I'm kind of looking like Aunt Jemima because I got this thick uh, headband on just to hide that little white piece because it doesn't look natural at all. Um, so yeah, this definitely be a wig for a hat. Okay, moving on. All right guys, so this wig is definitely kind of like the same one. <sighs> I comb through it and it just gets more tangled. Um, just like the same exact one. There's like no, you can't even, like, I don't, I don't even know like what to do. This is definitely just a quick wig. It'll, they, they will both definitely be like a workout wig. I'll throw this in a ponytail or try to look cute and call it a day because yeah also the shipping took about i ordered this hair july 11th july 20th and now it's february 1st so it took them almost two and a half weeks to get this done for some cheap hair that's shedding and the parting is not even all that great like it's thick and it just, you can just definitely tell it's a wig, even if you don't even know, even if you can't tell that people wear wigs, like you can definitely tell this is a wig, like a costume wig, basically. So that's like, this is like basically my review on the hair, guys. Um, I wouldn't recommend hair from Rose Gal. Um, it took too long for shipping. And like I said, like the hair is not all that great unless you're okay with wearing a hat and that's your style. Um, but yeah, I definitely won't buy hair from them again. Um, all right, guys, if you like this review, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you aren't, then I appreciate you guys for supporting me. All right, till next time. Bye guys. I'll be yours. You can hold me.